Hi. So I think it was agreed upon and uh, approved by the majority of the Wiz Rocketeers that we could all do the t-shirt challenge because we all wanted to do it so much and I'm not just looking a little beefy today. I have like 10 t-shirts on. So let's get the t-shirting on. It is um, Harry and the Potters. This guitar is a Horcrux t-shirt. I got it at my first Wizard Rock concert in Philly at the First Unitarian Church in, what was that, July? August. August, maybe? July or August, 2006. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm gonna die with these on. This is my second one, I actually didn't get it at a show at Sue and the Hufflepuffs. Cafe Press would make them because they were at Hufflepuff. They didn't want to get sued, and so it says Sue and me, and it printed wrong. I think of it as like, you know, one of those um, collector's items. You know, like the things that are printed wrong. They're worth more. Oh! This is Melissa and the Anelli shirt that I also got online. I think I... Uh, I have one of these and most of the members of Meta don't. <laughs> but um, I got this probably September, no, like October to early November. Bought it online and I wore it to, uh, when I went to see November the Remus Lupins in Pittsburgh. And I bought the t-shirt there that has the, um, Order the Phoenix on it. That was um, the first time I'd seen Alex play live, the first time I'd met him, and I got that t-shirt, and I can't find it, and I don't know where it is. It's probably somewhere completely ridiculous, like the refrigerator or the trunk of my car. I don't know where I find these things, but um, uh, for proof that I have it, here's a video of me wearing it. The Remus Lupins. I'm wearing this fucking shirt, and I forgot him. Wait, there it is. <laughs> See? Okay. Draco and the Malfoys shirt that I bought at Boston Yule Ball 06 in December, obviously in Boston at the Middle East. And that was cool because that was the first time that me and Liz were in the same room at the same time. We didn't know each other, but we saw each other. Ugh. It's getting easier. I got this at Phoenix Rising in New Orleans in May. Ugh. So yes, this is my Running Myrtle shirt. I got at the Philly Yule Ball in December of 07. It's Catch Love shirt made, handmade, painted by Jake Niffler and whew, it's completely blank and white on this side, but this is, haha, uh -huh, it's got writing all over it. I'm counting it as a Wizard Rock shirt. See, we have the Chocolate Frogs, um, Lauren Myrtle, Danny Dinosaur, Sam Friedman, Grace of Snidget, MC Creature. Cammy signed it, look, right there. Yay, Cammy. Uh, so yes, this last one I'm wearing is my most recent acquisition. I just got it last week in the mail. The Whomping Willows almost killed me. I didn't buy this, Matt mailed it to me because I'm awesome, I guess. Those are my shirts. Oh, I have one more. It's on my wall. <laughs> Framed. <laughs> it's uh, a handmade Sue and the Hufflepuffs t-shirt signed by Sue Upton. Okay, so I don't really have time in this video to talk about the uh, Wizard Rock People's Choice Award, so I'm gonna do that on my personal channel, so if you switch over to there, I'm going to have another video on there for you to watch. But uh, real quick, my Fossum fact is that here's the tally sheet for international competition. Romilda Vane and the Chocolate Cauldrons, our own Amy of the Wiz Rocketeers, um, her total uh, was only four points behind Oliver Boyd and the Remember Alls, and she just barely missed winning for international category, so congratulations for being the first loser, Amy.